Hello all my Yu-Gi-Oh fanatics, welcome back to another video, I am Gimmick Quattro, and in today's video, it's a bit interesting. It's not a power box, it's not a mystery box, it's not a booster box, I actually went up to an antique store today, and while there, they had five packs for 20 bucks bundled together. Power of the Duelist, Semeric Revolution, two of them, and Shadows of Infinity, two of them. And I just thought to myself, there is no way, there is no way of leaving without getting them. So I did. And I know there's valuable cards in the set, crazy, crazy valuable cards. Any like hollow basically is value. These could be all weighted. And somebody just kind of sold them. Who knows? But I just thought it would make for a really cool kind of older opening. I've never opened a single one of these sets a day in my life. So it would be really, really cool for me. I'm going to leave Power of the Duelist for last. So I'm probably going to go... I'm going to start with Cybernetic Revolution. Let's, uh, just, yeah. Again, I'm in my friend's house. So that's why it all looks weird. I have no card sleeves or anything on me, so if I pull something good, I just gotta be safe. This is not easy to open. There we go. What I used to do is open up the pack so I can actually slide it back in. Some of that good old, good old air. Mechanical Hound. Datsu. Giant. Kozake, Kozaki, Arrival Appears, Magical Explosion for the Rare, okay, Seven and Ex Silopine, and Shien Spy, and Tadpole, Prepare to Strike Back, and we're back to the beginning. Like always, I will have the card prices in the video while I'm editing so you guys will know and I'll have a total at the end so I bought this for 20 bucks so it'll be out of $20 now I'm moving on to Shadows of Infinity dude if I could pull something good I would cry I because it's so hard from these older sets and there's cards with like four five hundred dollar values in some of these sets or a couple hundred bucks or even like fifty sixty dollar cards you know so if I could pull one uh just uh Goki Pun Samasari Chain Thrasher Generation Shift and Karma Cut Success probability O2 O0%. Sorry. Next to be lost and DD guide and silent insect. I'm not gonna be disappointed if I don't get anything good. Because like I said, these all could be weighted. They like you know, so who knows what I'm getting myself into. But it, at the end of the day, it's just the opportunity is incredible. And that's what it's realistically all about is the, the pure opportunity to open up these sets that I didn't get the privilege to open up growing up. You know, I didn't really play the game like that then. My parents were not huge into me playing it. So... You know, it's now I finally get the chance to go back and the best that I can and relive memories that I just didn't get to make at the time. Alright, DDM Different Dimension Master. Good old Drillroid. Archfiend. Petroid. Prepared Strike. I still bet you any money though. These cards still hold some kind of value. Even some like the rares, they still probably have something to them. 
or maybe even commons. I bet you I could find a common or two that's got something. So I'm gonna have a lot of fun looking at these up later. Cause it just it is what it is, you know, and it's just so much fun just to know and to see the look of these old cards. I think the look of the old cards are so much nicer than some of the new ones and stuff like that. Not like artwork and stuff. I don't know. It's just, it just, you know, it's the nostalgia look, I guess. Saber Beetle, Magnet Circle Level 2, Sand Moth, Super Junior Confrontation, and this is the rare. Ah, Princess Kurion. Alright. Attack Reflection Unit, Ancient Gear Cannon, Grass Phantom, Hero Heart. Alright, one last pack. We've now made it to Power of the Duelist. Can I pull anything? I really, really hope so. I could need some luck. Also, coming up very soon, while well, I'm getting this next pack opened, I am going to be doing a series of openings, including sets that have gimmick cards. I'm going to, I've got two decks that I want to build. I will show you those decks if you guys are interested, comment something down below. Um, I might just do a video on them anyways, but it would be nice to know, you know who's interested and who's not. And I'm going to build two decks. One is a more of a win kind of one, and one's more of like a basic variant. And it's my goal to try and uh, play that deck professionally. And hopefully maybe go into a tournament with it and see how well I can do. Alright, Cosmic Core, Game Girl. You know what? I didn't pull any ultras or whatever. But what I did pull was I mean, I gotta look up the prices so I don't know. But I think it's it's just the the opportunity I'm looking at the same old cards. It's just the opportunity, like I said earlier, and now it's another, you know, opportunity that I got to share with you guys and let you guys experience it. So if you enjoy this experience, hopefully I can do it again for you guys. But let me know by hitting the like button, subscribing, and commenting something down below. Anything at all, it really helps out the video. And it really just kind of makes my day. Anyways, thank you all for watching. And I will see you guys in the next one. I'm out.